People all over the world know the Royal Flying Doctor Service for their role in remote outback communities. The name conjures images of aeroplanes landing in red dirt to answer emergency calls from injured farmers, labouring women and myriad other dramatic medical emergencies. What many people don't know about, even in Australia, is the quieter yet no less important work the Flying Doctor is doing all across the country. Here in Victoria, they're bringing all kinds of essential services to remote communities that struggle under the tyranny of distance, miles away from the help that many take for granted. Well, it's a matter of life and death. What not have a doctor or here and someone to attend you if you're really sick. In Victoria's more remote communities, one particular group of people that can miss out on much needed support is women. In these communities, it can be hard to access even a local GP. And when there is one nearby, they're often male. Everyone knows it's very difficult to get real GPs to get them to stay. You know, locums come and go, but um, to get a doctor to stay permanently right through country Victoria and New South Wales is very difficult. A lot of Aboriginal girls, women, they don't really want to open up to just anybody. Women have women's business. There's no way we'd want a man, and we've all said it, the old the elderly. You know, we want a woman, and we want a woman doctor here. And I, I think having a woman, and they could trust, they'll be open, open up and say, look, I need this kind of attention. In an effort to improve primary health care for rural women, the Royal Flying Doctor Service started an innovative program that sends a female GP to Robinvale and five other rural communities. Dr Anita Moss has been visiting Robinvale for the last three years as part of the service. I fly in on a Sunday uh, to work two full days in this community. The idea of me being here is to provide another GP in the town where there is only one and to provide community members in the town a, a choice of gender when it comes to doctors. It's really tough. There are a lot of gaps. So basically that means there are weeks when there may not be an available doctor in the town. I, I saw someone recently who had four seizures in a week and woke up after each of them. She didn't know how long she'd been unconscious for. Uh, she was had two of her grandchildren who are primary school age in her care and uh, so she didn't go to hospital and there wasn't a doctor to see until I came back two weeks later. I did certainly face the scepticism of some of our elders who felt that I was just going to be another person who just came and went and uh, we're not even going to bother coming because we know you're not going to be here uh, in a month or two months and we need someone to stay. We had doctors come and go and all the time. You know, we've had quite a few doctors here but they, they don't stay for long. The implications of not having doctors here are huge. It means that people aren't getting regular screening preventative things done, whether it's your regular cholesterol check or pap smear uh, or immunisations for the kids. Specialist appointments, we need to transport our elderly, especially to Mildura, Swan Hill or Melbourne. Um, so it makes it difficult. I've had someone who came in with skin cancer, but the wait list in Mildura for the dermatologists is six months. So I was able to do a biopsy, which meant that patient uh, was able to have that melanoma removed, you know, within the next two weeks. Melanoma would have spread and they quite possibly could have died. I think with time, uh, like the other um, female doctors who work in rural women's GP service, across Victoria, uh, clients have come to trust us now. Somewhere between 80 to 90% of Australians live in urban areas, meaning many of the problems that face rural communities often go unnoticed. But this is where our food comes from. This is where our raw materials come from. These are real people with real problems, and they deserve and need help as much as anyone else. 
It's not always possible for every program to be made available in every community. And that's why programs like the Rural Women's GP Service make sure nobody is forgotten or left behind. And that towns like this and their people continue to thrive into the future. Like I say, they're the angel of the sky. So yeah, we need them. We can't just make it go away. We need them. And when I seen on the side of the car a flying doctor, it sort of all said, oh yeah, whoopee, we've got flying doctors here. <laughs>